Alright guys, so most of you guys know that I've been really enjoying the MLP IDW comics. Hell, it's from IDW, of course, it's, a, it's goddamn amazing. But, uh, this is just me, and I know I did this with the Celestia video, but I wanted to extend that further in this video. It's just me talking about what other comics I'd like to see from IDW. Uh, MLP centric. Now I used to do this. I did this. Consider this doing this with Doctor Who. However, uh, BBC is getting the comic book rights back from IDW once uh, the year's out. So yeah. Anyway, let's kick things off with uh, characters I'd like to see in the micro series. Now the micro series has recently, after doing the main six, they've done the Cutie Mark Crusaders and Princess Celestia. Uh, other characters I'd like to see, and I brought this up before, I'd like to see a Luna. Uh, I would like to see a Luna one-shot. I would even like to see Discord, Trixie, Gilda, uh, a lot of the background characters. Hell, I actually had this idea of, instead of micro-series, I was thinking, like, maybe we could get a mini-series out for, the for the some of the background characters. Uh, the background six, even. I would even like to see... I would like to see a a six-issue mini... A four to six six issue mini series, four to six mini series issue mini series. Excuse me, I got I know I got tongue tied there. What I'd like to see from it is actually a story revolving around the mo most what most people consider the background six: uh, D uh, Vinyl Scratch, Octavia, Lyra, Bon Bon, Derpy, Doctor Hooves, uh, let's see, and also Berry Punch. That's the background six in a nutshell, is that those six characters all joining together uh, when the main six are off on an adventure, they're going and saving, the, saving Equestria from another totally different threat, and they don't have the elements of harmony or anything. They're brought, I'd have it that these six characters are brought together by mistake. They're brought together totally uh, by accident. Derpy and the Doctor are, and Doctor Hooves are working together. Um, of course, he'd probably be called something. It wouldn't be something called as cool as Doctor Hooves, but he'd probably be called something like Time Turner or something. Him and Derpy are hanging out together, and then they run into Bi uh, Lyra and Bon Bon, and then they run into uh, Octavia and Vinyl Scratch. There you go. There's the background six, and they're all brought together by mysterious me. Either they they meet each other by happenstance, or they're brought together by mysterious purposes, but they, they t find out that they are the only def line of defense for Equestria at this point. Uh, when the main six are either captured, or they're off on another adventure, or they don't even know what's going on. It could be something like, oh, we just found this huge thing, we, got to we have to tell the main six, and they're just like, who are you people? Go away. We have our own problem. Like, there's another big threat they're fighting in Equestria. We don't see the big threat that the main six are fighting, but this uh, it's so big that they don't even concern themselves with the other threat that they're trying to tell them. Is like, well, guess it's up to us. So that would pretty much be it. And then you could have all the other background characters backing them up. Like, of course, uh, you could have Car you could have uh, uh, Rose Luck, Colgate, uh, Berry Punch, uh, Carrot Top, and a few other of the background characters brought in here. Like, hell, I'd even like to see Snowflake charge in and go, yeah! Like, he just charges in and fights up. Like, I don't know, it could be like... You could actually, the perfect villain, you could have the main six foiling are goblins. You could have go you could This could be a cool way to bring in goblins and uh, have them as these... Mis this, uh, they're trying to start a invasion of Equestria, and they have uh, plans of taking Ponyville as their, like, standoff point. Once they take Ponyville, they can, they can capture the main six, who have the elements of harmony. If they can keep the people who are using the elements of harmony from using them, then, you know, the other ones will cut, their main army can march in on Canterlot, it'll be a hard fight, but they can take it. And the background six are like, oh man, and they're, and, I, and they also, the goblins would be using this, excuse, you know, sneaking in while this big unknown threat the main six are fighting or deal, uh, while they're dealing with it, and the background six are the only ones that could stop them. There you go. There's your six-issue miniseries. Just call it the, the um, My Little Pony, the background six, or, you know, I don't know what you call it, the fill-in? The fill-in six? I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, that's that's pretty much the big idea. That would be an idea I'd absolutely love, of having the background characters be, get the spotlight. Not just in a one-shot, but all together. Um, I'd also, in terms of other miniseries, I'd absolutely love to see a Trixie miniseries. I think Trixie has enough popularity and enough character to her that you could have her... Uh, ha you could have a mini-series around her. Not so much an ongoing... I don't know if you could do an ongoing, but a d 
but a mini series, more or less, I could see happening. If for some reason I want her to have Gilda with her, I'd like to have Gilda the Griffin uh, along with Trixie. I'd like to see how Trixie and Gilda would play off each other because uh, Trixie's so arrogant and so full of herself, and Gilda it hates po it pretty thinks ponies are manby pamby. So I would have them work together through meet and work together through. Uh, meet, you know, through certain means, like they meet by accident, or they're brought together by by just coincidence, and they kind of work together. And not, it, it would be kind of like something I could have them like something like Sherlock and uh, Sherlock Holmes and uh, Watson. That's how I'd play up the relationship. How wa how Watson and Sherlock are played in uh, in uh, BBC Sherlock. That. <laughs> Not to have them solve mysteries or whatever, but just have them like that's the kind of relationship they have. Is that they they love to hate each other, but they do. But at, towards the end, uh, they learn to understand one another and become friends. And I would actually set this that uh, this would be after her episode, Trixie's big return episode in season three, and she's trying to be not a not a bitch, <laughs> and she's actually trying to go around and help people. Uh, that would be her. That's how I imagine that Trixie thinks the great and powerful Trixie could be the great and powerful mediator or the great and powerful hero she's always claimed she was, and she goes around trying to save uh, save people or help people with their problems. And Gilda's just there because it's Gil uh, because Gilda has nowhere else to go. That would actually be the first one she encounters. Like it would be, I would have it like it's a series of one and done stories. Like, the, but after the first issue, Gilda just joins. Uh, Trixie at the end of the issue. So, that's my idea for that. In terms of other ones, I would actually love to see a Luna and Celestia, uh, Celestia uh, series, mini-series. And here's how I'd do it. It was just them, how they came to be. Not their birth, If unless we don't get this in the TV show. I would actually like to see it in canon in comics. Uh, if it's not done in the TV show, which more than likely will, but on the uh, event that it doesn't, I would really like it if they did something along the lines of, like, telling how Celestia and Luna became the rulers of Equestria through... You could do this as, like, a 12-issue mini, because I think you could put in so much story in there, and you could have it, like, the story arc of them rising to power, and then, you know, that story when they first encountered Discord, and how it, it, how even Discord came to rise. Uh, how that you could have a can you can finally have a canon story of how Discord came into power and how he took over the Equestria and how Luna and Celestia took o um, took him down. There you go. Now the other idea I had was um, a story arc because we've seen the return of both the Nightmare Forces and Queen Chrysalis. I was thinking maybe we could get we could shine some light on another villain that I don't think got a lot of attention in his premiere in season three, I, and this would be for the main comics. I would like to do a story arc that focuses around Sombra. Uh, I think it would be cool to do something along those lines of doing something with Sombra and make him a villain, you know, a dangerous villain that he was meant to be in Season 3. So I think it'd be cool to, like, you saw that horn in Season 3 of it breaking off, and unless we don't see him return in Season 4, then I'd say do this in the comics. Or you could do this in the comics, and then it wouldn't be canon anymore. That'd be the sad part. So you could have it that the horn has, you know, his horn that we saw fly off into the distance uh, at the end of the season three premiere. And what happens is that horn helps him regenerate into his new body. And, or you could have him take over one, use his dark essence to take over somebody. Namely, he could take, maybe he could take over Twilight's body, and the rest of the main six are trying to save Twilight from herself. Because now she's even, as a princess, she's even more powerful. And Sombra takes over her body, uses it as he wills. There you go. <laughs> so that would be a cool story arc. But then again, you run into the whole thing of them of them uh, doing the story arc they just previously did with Rarity. So I don't know if you could do that. But maybe having Sombra uh, manipulate situations while he's trying to get his body back. Like maybe he can warp... He, can, he finds, like, a magical means to bring his body back, and the first thing he does is try to get his revenge on the main six for destroying him, and especially having a ma some major hate for Spike, uh, Spike and Princess Cadence, especially Cadence, because I think he would turn outpour all of his hatred on her because she's the ruler of the Crystal Empire, and he kind of sees her as the one that stopped him as well, and also have a lot of hate for Spike for helping him. So those would be on his hit list, Cadence and Spike. 
And I think it would be cool to see him, like, try to manipulate, uh, manipulate how, like, just trying to destroy the uh, romance between Shining Armor and, and Cadence. I think that would be how he'd be working in the shadows, is that him trying to weaken Cadence's love by destroying her, trying to destroy her marriage with uh, Shining Armor. And then he, when she's feeling at her lowest, he'll come in and try to take over again. Or, you know, manip because the whole thing with Sombra is that he uses his hate, you know, people's hatred and fears against them. And I think that would be the best way to do that, is trying to break their love. And, and this could be easily, you could easily work this as a, som as a not, uh, Shining Armor and Cadence story. I know they're going to get a two-part story in the next, next few issues of the series. But, <clears throat> yeah, all in all, that I think that would be cool. Uh, of bring of making Sombra an even more dangerous villain than he was meant than he as he should have been. I think it would be also cool to delve into um, other stuff. Like you could bring in so many other monsters and other mythical creatures in here uh, into this series because for God's sakes they had giant talking spiders with cutie marks and you even had trolls and chupacabras and vampire bunnies. Yes, vampire bunnies. So. You could bring in stuff like... You could bring in berserkers. Now, for those who don't know what berserkers are, these are things from Norse mythology of warriors who could uh, morph into wolves. So you could bring in werewolves, technically. You could have these uh, race of wolves who are berserkers who can, you know, go from being... can go from being uh, uh, four feet to two feet. Like, they can get on their hind legs and they can draw weapons and stuff like that. Like, they can get two-legged and, you know, they're just all about chaos. They're just all about... I wouldn't say chaos, but they're all about just starting fights. They love a good fight, and they're just a roving band of barbarians. Um, all they love is just going berserk and fighting opponents. So, that'd be fun. Uh, another thing, like, you could do some world building in here. Like I said, you could go to places like that are places like Japan, or, you know, places that look like London, and maybe we could see Las Pegasus. I'd love to see Las Pegasus. Even, I would even uh, be very inclined to see... Uh, Tartarus, because we know Tartarus exists, and you could have Tartar, you know, because we've seen Cerberus as the guardian of Tartarus, and you could have the main six traveling there to stop a, you know, an out a jailbreak, because apparently in this universe, Tartarus holds all the great evils of Equestria. I'm surprised they didn't send Discord there the first time around. Um, but what you could do is have that the, you know, Tartarus and the other one, and, and Tartarus holds all these like major v evil uh, evil beings, and it's a jailbreak, and the main six have to go in there and stop it. You could even bring uh, G um, past generation villains if they're not going to do it in the in the TV show. I'd say you could do it easily in here, uh, in this in this comic book series, and bring in villains and revamp them. Like like I've done, I did a video a while back talking about. Re my ideas for revamping uh, villains from the G1 and G3 series was a G2. I, I, I always get the, G the, gen the past generations uh, series mixed up, so forgive me on that. So, but like I was saying, this would be a cool way to, if they're not going to do in the TV show, this would be a cool way to revamp Tyrick and Grogar and the Smooths and a lot of the other cool villains we saw in the past generation series, because let's face it, the past, the only, they were the only cool things about the past generation series. So you could have them in there. You could have Tyrick and Grogar in the in these in these uh, comics, and have them as villain arcs. If they're not again, if they're not going to do it in the TV show, I'd say put it in here. Uh. But yeah, um, that's just a few ideas I had. Um, but you guys tell me, what do you think? Uh, what do you think of these ideas? Do you like them? Do you hate them? And what are some ideas you'd like to see in the IDW comic book series? Uh, you guys let me know, and once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.